Well, speaking of bombs, what is it that makes America the world's greatest nuclear power? And what is it that will make it possible for us to spend $20,000 million of our taxpayers' money to put some idiot on the moon? <laughs> well, it was the great, enormous superiority of American technology, of course, as provided by our great American scientists, such as Dr. Werner von Braun. <laughs> around while I sing you of Werner von Braun, a man whose allegiance is ruled by expedience. Call him a Nazi, he won't even frown. Nazi schmazi, says Werner von Braun. Don't say that he's hypocritical, say rather that he's apolitical. Once the rockets are up, who cares where they come down? <laughs> That's not my department, says Werner von Braun. <laughs> some have harsh words for this man of renown, but some think our attitude should be one of gratitude, like the widows and cripples in old London town who owe their large pensions to Werner von Braun. You too may be a big hero, once you've learned to count backwards to zero. In German or English, I know how to count down. And I'm learning Chinese, says Werner von Braun. That's the general idea, anyway. laboratory is recovered by Clyde Holliday of Johns Hopkins, who prepared it for its trip to the upper stratosphere. Rivaling the fantastic imagination of Jules Verne, the camera brought back a record of a flight into the heavens of a captured German V-2 rocket. At White Sands, New Mexico, the huge missile takes off. Air Force pictures show the rocket in flight, and the flying camera automatically takes over. A huge projectile drops the Earth behind at the tremendous speed of 4,000 feet per second. The rotation of the rocket causes the planet to spin before the lens, and the camera photographs the Earth 65 miles straight down. The horizon, 720 miles away, and the curvature of the Earth are astonishingly apparent in this still picture from the film. An observer in the rocket could have seen San Diego, Salt Lake City, Kansas City, and San Antonio. Approximately 1,600,000 square miles of the Earth's surface was revealed. The rocket reached the 65-mile height in three minutes. This giant engine of destruction, designed by Hitler to annihilate allied nations, now serves the worthy cause of peacetime research. Mm -hmm. 